Ah. Hey everybody, Darlington Farm here. I'm just out here in the shop and I just destroyed $30 worth of tungsten balls from McMaster. Uh, yeah, it's been a real great few minutes here. <laughs> Needed some camera therapy. So basically, yeah, here's, uh, here's what I did here. I'm making some of these little hardness probes for the uh, university here and um, uh, it's a real easy part. The first one came out just slick. I made a fixture with uh, on the bridge port behind me here with a ball end mill, just milled out a slot for the little uh, rod to sit in, then just TIG braze the uh, TIG braze the ball on the end of it there. Real simple. First one just came together right that or like that, and I just can't seem to make the second ones work. So I just I'm going to take a break here, but. All right, so that's what's going on today. I got to get these parts finished up and get them in the mail today and uh, get on to some other parts. I got another, make another run of egg flippers here, which I'll probably try and video as much of that as I can. Uh, other stuff that's going on, I picked up a AccuPocket 150 by Fronius. Uh, that's their battery powered TIG stick welder. Uh, on a Black Friday sale from Baker's Gas, they uh, threw in one of these Lincoln Viking hoods and uh, I think it was like a $50 gift card. So. Pretty good deal, and uh, so far I'm liking the hood, and um, neat welder. I haven't had a chance to stick weld with this particular one yet, but I, I got to use it at Fabtech there. Uh, really will be handy for some of the projects I have coming up next year, and um, what else is going on here? I picked up the cheapest welder I could find on eBay. It's like this Taiwanese knockoff thing that uh, should be good. We'll do a video with that here shortly. Uh, other stuff that's going on, uh, I've got a couple other projects uh, in the works here. Possibly a really big demo work scheduled for uh, 2020 there. I don't know how that's going to play out. Um, it'll be big, probably the biggest project I've ever done dollar value wise. Um, so it should be pretty huge. Not really sure it's something I want to do, but you know, customer asked me to do it. And uh, so I think I'll probably do it. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm going to put the camera down here, let you guys see what I'm doing on these things, and hopefully not screw any more of them up. All right, so I got two of these guys down now. So if anybody out there is ever trying to TIG braze a really, really small part like this, 400 hertz seems to be your friend. Uh, it doesn't want to wet out as nice, but it doesn't seem like the ball will kind of move around a whole lot. All right, salvaged. All right, so I'm fairly pleased with the way these turned out. There's a few that are kind of crooked, but I only have to actually deliver four of them. I'm just gonna go ahead and send them all of these, those guys and they can make up their minds which one they wanna actually use. Uh, fun and exciting times. We got some more egg flippers to make. I got a PO for those guys, so I got to make 20 more of those here today or get started on them. Uh, I'll leave the camera running here so you guys can see what's going on, but I think that'll be a separate video. So anyway, I'm Darlington Farm. Don't forget to check back to the channel here. Hit that subscribe button. I uh, have a bunch of videos coming up here on the Fronius AccuPocket battery welder behind me. And I'm actually really shocked at how well this little... $60 welder that I got off eBay did. Uh, some videos on that guy coming out here soon. So anyway, I'm Darlington Farm. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Thank you much.